Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trail Makers. And for the first time in a long time, we are back on Race Island, where we have all kinds of races. And check out how the map looks now. We got the Grand Island Tour, Air Race, Three Bridges, Race Track, Drag Race, Underwater Race, Speed Circuit, all kinds of awesome races. And um, I think they've updated this map to kind of go along with how rally mode works. So there's a whole new leaderboard and they also give you default build suggestions uh, based off of what track you're on. So you can see here is the default construction and it actually gives you a tutorial on how to build the default or not, I wouldn't say default, but just I guess the suggested vehicle. So this one here, I think is a, um, drag racer of some sort considering this is the drag race thrusters i think those are we got the drag racing wheels in the back there man this is actually a really cool looking drag racing car that they're suggesting we got some downwards for us for the spoil three spoilers all right bunch of air oh this is an interesting wheel for the front of the vehicle check it out that's not a bad looking dragster right there so yeah, apparently they're gonna recommend different vehicles like this for all of the different races. So I figured it might be fun to try to see how we match up on the leaderboards and try to break some records. I really don't think we're gonna get that far because I just took a quick glance at the leaderboard here. And um, number one for Bionic League, meaning zero power cores is 5.44 seconds all the way down to the end there. So how somebody did this without any engines any thrusters, any propellers in 5.44 seconds is uh, kind of beyond me. So I figured we'll start with the drag race because that is kind of the simplest in a way, but also kind of the most complex because it's really about fine tuning the creation itself and not so much about the driving. Why don't we start simple and start with just a single power core. So I'm gonna use the go-kart seat because the go-kart seat is the lightest and I think, um, having something relatively lightweight is going to be ideal here. Now, the big thing is probably going to be the wheel selection. I'm pretty sure that the Bulldog engine doesn't have nearly enough power to even really get much speed at all from a drag racing wheel. You need a lot of power for those drag racing wheels because they are huge. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to build what I can for some type of relatively simplistic, but hopefully effective dragster. All right, so here's what I got for our first prototype. Aerodynamically, I'm pretty sure we're seeing all greens. So that's good. I'm just worried that this Bulldog engine is gonna be really weak for the weight. We are at 75 kilograms. Um, but yeah, we've got some wide wedges in the front and these wedges kind of cover the entire seat. Cause even if I delete this top one, you can see that brings a whole nother level of drag. So I think it might be worth it to have that there. Yeah, so we're gonna see how this thing does. Let's go ahead and that's, it's a bit slow. Do we have, all right, one power core, 5.36 seconds on a single power core. How does somebody do that? All right, well, here we go. This is not gonna happen in five seconds. Oh my goodness, this is so slow. This is, we're already at five seconds. How did they do it that fast? How is that even possible? I don't know, this thing is the slowest thing I've ever seen. 57 kilometers now. This is, uh, guys, are you guys cheating? Are you guys cheating here? Like, are you, are you, there's some glitches that I don't know about that you guys are taking advantage of? We're at 23 seconds so far. Like, this is the only thing other than a mini thruster that costs one power core. So what, what are you guys doing? And look at that. It only took us. Oh, yeah, we get gold for this, too. It rank... Oh, world rank 34! Better than 33% of other players. Okay, that's not... That's not that good. 38 seconds. I am... I am not happy with that. You know what? Maybe these wheels are too heavy. Let's go ahead and uh, change these wheels to the go-kart wheels and hope that this makes a 30-second difference in our time. This is not gonna make a difference in our time. What, like 57 was our max speed? Let's see what it is with this. All right, here goes nothing. That was a terrible start. Oh, but look at this. We can see some different vehicles now. Whoa. Whoa, now we can start seeing some design. Oh, look, this is even worse. This is way worse than our other design. Look, we can see our best right there. 
But you see those other designs are using the slim wheels. Are the slim wheels really that different? I guess they're lightweight. Poor grip and speed. Like, that that's, that's, even says poor speed. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, just barely made it off there. Look at those vehicles. How are they so fast? Are they just that much lighter than me? We're at 55 kilometers an hour now. Hmm. I guess I have a lot to learn about how these vehicles work. You know what? Let's never mind about aerodynamics as much. Let's just go for pure light weight. We're just going to remove as much as we possibly can and just see what happens. Okay, our vehicle is like super, super small now. I don't know if this is even going to work, but we're going to find out if this is any better. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're still, we're kind of still slow. How are they going so fast? Am I missing something? Are they using something different? Hold on, I gotta get a better look at these vehicles here. You know what? Let's try it with the cockpit seat. Let's see if the cockpit seat makes a difference. All right, this is like the tiniest little vehicle here. Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. Oh, you know what? I think I need to put, I need to switch my cockpit seat around with the bulldog engine here. Hold on. Look at this derpy little vehicle. All right, we're definitely not getting five seconds, but maybe we'll get something a little bit better. 50, 56, 57. Like, we're maxing out below 60, pretty much. I don't understand how they got so much speed. What am I missing here, people? What am I missing? What did you guys do? How'd you guys do that? Like, see, this number 29, this seems like a legitimate, a legitimate build there. Like, he's maxing out at a top speed. He's just getting there a little bit quicker than I am. Oh, look at that. New record. 36 seconds. Oh, this, this is cool. It shows you how many places you moved up, how much you've improved on your last uh, time. That's kind of nice. Oh, that guy's using a thruster. Is the mini thruster that much more powerful than a, a bulldog engine for this? Let's see how the thruster feels. All right, because there's only a few things here that are one power core. That is the bulldog engine the mini thruster, which we're going to try for this one. And let's just see how this affects our overall speed. We have no reverse or brakes, but we don't really need that for a drag race, do we? All right, here we go. Oh, this is so much faster. Wow. Okay, we've reached a whole new level now. Oh, <laughs> this makes things a little bit harder to control now. But yes, okay, so the thruster is a really good addition. Now is where weight and aerodynamics become like everything. Okay, okay, we've learned. Now the issue with this thruster is that it is kind of off center with the um, with the thrust pretty much. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. I moved the position of the thruster a little bit so it's horizontal instead of vertical. I don't know if that changes how the thruster is gonna work. We'll find out. That was a pretty good start. Nope, it still wants us to list to the left a little bit. Oh boy. Oh, this is so hard to stay in control. Yeah, I might need a tail fin on this one. I might need a tail fin. All right, I'm going to change some aerodynamics of this and hope that it's not going to mess us up weight-wise and see what kind of effects we can have. All right, here we go. So now we've got some aerodynamics blocking any drag from these back wheels. I'm also going to do that to the front here. So we block the drag from the steering hinges. And we've got some tail fins that'll hopefully keep us straight. And let's see how this goes. Oh, just in time. Go, go, go. Oh, we're definitely a little bit slower on the acceleration because of the added weight. I'm just trying to very subtly adjust. Oh, 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 ooh. Ooh, that's a drag racing crash. That is definitely a drag racing crash. But we're about to cut our time in half here. If we can get this successfully, we're going to cut our time in half. But let's just see if we can maintain a straight trajectory. Come on. Come on. Subtle adjustments. Subtle adjustments. There we go. Look at that. 16 seconds. We have literally cut our time in half. More than half. We've increased by 13 places. We are now better than 65% of other players instead of 33%. And we have increased our time by 20 seconds. That is massive. All because we switched to a mini thruster instead of an engine. So let's see if we can shave some more time off of this. I'm going to now go for weight instead of aerodynamics and see what kind of impact that will have. So I'm going to bring the go-kart seat back in here. 
That's gonna save us a little bit of weight. I'm gonna do something a little bit ridiculous that might ruin the control ability, but it has the potential to really increase our aerodynamic capability. I'm going to make our steering a single steering hinge in the middle that steers the entire front section rather than steering each of the front wheels independently. And what that's going to allow me to do is move my front wheels in more, making ourselves much thinner, while at the same time, probably messing everything else up with our creation. It's it's perfect. It's a perfect fit. All right, does this even... Oh, what is happening to our back end there? Why are our wheels... Oh! Our wheels aren't even attached to our vehicle. Look at that. That looks like it does things. Oh boy, it is so... It is a lot harder to stay straight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, I'm, I think we're faster. Look, like we, we were ahead of ourselves. We were actually ahead of ourselves there. The problem is that we just can't stay straight with this right now. Yeah, there's our best. And look at how much more speed we're picking up just because of how much lighter we are. The problem is staying straight. Yeah, staying straight is really difficult. All right, I'm going to make the front of our vehicle now much more aerodynamic. All right, this is weird. I don't know if that air pocket is gonna affect our air resistance much, but overall the front of this should be much more aerodynamic. So let's see how this works. We're not gonna be able to stay straight at all. That was a decent start. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. All you gotta do is try to stay straight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't see our best yet. Our best is still behind us. That's good. Ooh, right behind us was our best. But we did a new record by 0 0.28 seconds. We are now better than 69% of other players. We moved up two places. How can somebody possibly cut this into a third? The only explanation I can think of is somehow they're using one of these other things here, like a helicopter engine. I'm curious. I want to take a look at what are the other designs around me right now. What? 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 I can't see those guys enough. Did you see that? How, how are they possibly doing that? How is that working? That doesn't make any sense. There's one guy with like big wheels that's going super fast. And then there's another guy that just flies off the track. He went off the side of the track, jumps over, and into the finish line. But how is he getting that much speed? What if we go into camera mode here? And then we travel down. Looks like it's still starting. All right. What? What is happening? What is actually happening with these vehicles? I wish I could just pause so I could get a closer look at these vehicles and see what they're doing. All right. All right, guys. Here we go. There's some fishiness going on here. That's a hover pad in the back. Glitched into like a block on top of it somehow. And then the seat is glitched into some wedge block in the front. What? Yeah, we got some we got some glitchiness going on here. Okay, okay, y'all are a bunch of cheaters. Now I understand. That's why I'm not that great, is because I'm I'm trying to do this the legit way. So we had this thing upside down with these wheels on the side of it. And then somehow he had like a singular block on top, but there's no way to really attach to this block really. And I think the hover pad fights against this block somehow. So let me just see if I can attach it through some roundabout way just to see if we have any type of similar effect. All right, so what does this do? Okay, it provides like a downwards force on us. A pretty strong downwards force. That's how we used the wall climber back in the day. So we must have somehow directed that force into the vehicle to shoot it forward. And that's how he went so fast. Okay, so obviously there's some ways to kind of hack the system. But I think I'm pretty happy with where we are up on the leaderboard here by using more legitimate methods. So you know what? why don't we go over to a race that requires a little bit more, um, I guess, driving skill. Like a racetrack. Let's go for the racetrack. All right, so here we are at the start zone. So, ooh, interesting. This is the vehicle that it recommends for us. Oh, interesting way that they use the vertical suspension, but why not just use 
the suspension that goes out to the side anyway if you're gonna make these go out to the side. Hmm. Oh, did they change the straight suspension to actually allow attachments to the sides? Was it, I don't think it was like that before. Am I just not remembering correctly? Yeah, so check that out. They have this attachment block that goes on the side so you can actually attach one side to the car and then the other side to your wheel or something. So that can actually allow you to have a much narrower profile rather than attaching steering to the edge of the angled suspension. Hmm. All right, well, let's scrap this now and build our own vehicle and see what we can do on this course. And for this one, the league I'm gonna be in is whatever is after a single power core. So here, let me just bring in one of these. So yeah, muscle league, two to five power cores. So if you want to use five power cores, a dragon engine and maybe a raw jet engine might be the best bet. In that case, ooh, we're going to have to really adjust our uh, shape of the shape of our vehicle here. Hmm. All right, check this out. So uh, one big benefit of using these shocks is that in the front where you have to add that extra block width of steering, that means that you can put these shocks in the front, add the steering onto them, and then put these shocks in the back without steering, and then that makes your wheels in line with each other. So that's actually really convenient, and I like that a lot. So for this, I think I may have gone a little bit overboard with aerodynamics, and somehow, somehow, we still have this going on here. Why is that happening? There we go. Does that fix it? Does that solve the problem? Yeah, that solves the problem. All right, so I think this thing's looking pretty good right now. So I think we're going to keep it at that and see how this thing does. Oh, uh, <laughs> too quick, too quick. I have to get used to actually being fast on the start now. What is the leaderboard for the 12 seconds? Is this a one lap thing? I don't even know what this course entails. Oh, that was a perfect start. All right, come on, come on. Oh, 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 maybe I should have some actual tail fins. Oh, for some like stability and stuff. Another checkpoint. Oh, whoops. Ooh, that was a perfect start. All right. Oh, it is really hard to stay straight. That's the problem. That's the problem with this right now. Super hard to stay straight, especially when that thruster's going. All right. I, I'm just I'm just doing a practice run to get used to the control here. Oh, and that wasn't a bad jump. That was not a bad jump. Whoops, 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 whoops. We're alive. We're live. Okay, so that was a terrible run through. And how how did we do? 32 seconds. Better than 69% of other players on this one. So that's actually kind of interesting. I was not expecting that. So we can definitely shave a lot of time on that. Oh, we just got a whole bunch of experience and uh, tokens as well to purchase some more parts with. All right, let's try this again. Oh yeah, now we can start seeing some of these other designs. That's going to be kind of cool. All right, just keep control. I am not keeping control. You can see my other guys just going crazy there too. Oh man, what are we doing? <laughs> this is such an intense race. All right, there we go. Let's see if this is going to make a difference. The main thing is our ability to stay straight going around the turns. All right, so I'm hoping that this is going to give us... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay, it's helping. It is definitely a noticeable difference in control. I just gotta figure out how to make... Whoa! Well, that was interesting. Okay, I at least... I just want to complete the course with this vehicle and just see what a successful run without messing up a whole bunch of times would feel like. All right. I'm gonna boost on the straightaway not boost on the small turns like that and i'm definitely not gonna boost on the jump gonna boost before the jump oh that's bad you know what let's go with a racing cam Ooh, we got some new what did you see that guy that big green guy is going cr what he just went over the middle jump how does he have so much control how does he have so much control oh we're terrible at jumping but that spin that we do totally works. All right. Come on, turn, turn, turn. There we go. That was pretty good. Oh, look at that. We did, how much was that? 25. We just knocked five seconds on. Look at that. Better than 83%. We're number 13. All right. Let's see how this goes. Too much. <laughs> 
There we are. I think we have to beat it once in order to even see. Oh, we do not have a lot of turning though. In order to even see what the other vehicles are, we have to at least beat it once. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, we have to do two laps, I think. Oh boy. Oh, we're narrowly, narrowly making these turns without wiping out. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the last stretch. It's the last stretch. Come on. Stay straight. And there we go. We did it in how long? Ow. 31 seconds. World rank 8. Better than 85%. So the leaderboard is very, very new. It's only been here for a couple of days. So there's just not that many people on it. I'm going to be like in the hundreds probably after a while. So let's take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ozzy is uh, right up at the top there. And he's got 13 seconds. All right, let's check out what some of these creations look like then. What? Look at all those wings. I want to see him come back around. What even are these things? I don't understand. Those creations are absolute insanity. Okay, well, um, apparently there's a whole new level of creating in this game that I am just not tapped into, so, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be happy with number eight for now. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna end up beating that, especially on this course. Like, this vehicle wasn't even made for this course. But, uh, let me know if you want to see more Race Island videos. Uh, we're definitely gonna be going back to Sandbox soon. And let me know if there's anything that you want to see in Sandbox. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.